Chapter Twenty Four of The Tale of Miss Kitty Cat. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Five in a Basket. Well, if you're not bothering me again, Farmer Green's wife exclaimed. Miss Kitty Cat had come up behind her and brushed against her asking at the same time with her most polite mew if mrs green wouldn't please turn around mrs green looked over her shoulder i declare she cried so that's what you've been fussing about is it miss kitty cat gently laid something on the floor at her mistress's feet she acted much pleased when mrs green bent over and picked up a tiny soft pudgy kitten what do you think of it miss kitty cat asked mrs green at least that was what mrs green understood her to say anyhow miss kitty appeared delighted with what mrs green had told her and feeling that her youngster was in safe hands miss kitty cat ran out of the kitchen and disappeared in a little while she returned carrying another kitten in her mouth mrs green admired this one as much as the first and again Miss Kitty vanished. She returned with a third kitten. She returned with a fourth one. Well, well, Farmer Green's wife said to her, we have enough now, don't you think so? Mrs. Green soon learned that Miss Kitty was not quite of the same mind. She made one more trip across the yard to the barn, and at last, with an air of great pride, she set down a fifth kitten upon the kitchen floor that's all mrs green miss kitty said they're so beautiful it's a shame there aren't twice as many but mrs green was out in the woodshed and didn't hear her she came in soon with a basket this is what old spot used to sleep in when he was a puppy mrs green told miss kitty cat i suppose you're willing to use it for your family miss kitty made no objection when mrs green carefully laid the five kittens side by side on an old shawl which she spread in the bottom of the basket then mrs green picked up the precious burden with miss kitty following closely set it down in the corner of the woodshed there said mrs green now they're snug and warm and i'll set your milk right beside the basket so you won't have to leave your family when you drink it it was not long before old dog spot poked his long nose through the woodshed doorway and spied miss kitty cat close beside the basket lapping her milk he gave a short bark when he saw her and to his astonishment both miss kitty cat and farmer green's wife came running at him mrs green had a broom in her hand and miss kitty cat had her claws in her paws they both ordered him to keep away from the woodshed and spot sneaked off to the barn and hid in the stall beside the old horse ebenezer what's troubling you ebenezer inquired in his slow way it's that ill-natured miss kitty cat spot exclaimed she has a big family of kittens and she's terribly touchy about anybody's coming near them although she's keeping them in my basket she hasn't even invited me to have a look at them i only hope he added they won't grow to be like their mother old ebenezer looked down at him with mild surprise what's the matter with miss kitty he asked she can't take a joke said spot if you chase her she always claws you if she can now that was one of the first things miss kitty taught her children she claimed that claws were made to be used especially on old dog spot but when a kitten tried its claws on one of its mates miss kitty always cuffed it smartly she claimed then that claws were not made to be used especially on one's own family and in time the kittens learned their lessons perfectly the end end of chapter twenty four end of the tale of miss kitty cat by arthur scott bailey